Okay, this is the second part. I had to stop recording for a moment on uh, the first part to this polarity shift motor. It's the video I was trying to mention on the first part was windstream capture technology. Windstream capture technology. Well, where's my think of my chicker? Okay, I'll use this one. I'm missing a pen now. Great. Okay, um, windstream capture technology. We're on this, if you remember, somebody referred to it as bellows. On the bottom, uh, maybe um, if these magnets are underneath the disc, on the bottom of the disc, then on top of the disc, I have what somebody else called bellows. Little pockets that only the capture the wind coming from one direction. So as the wind hits it, it opens up the pocket. As it spins around this way, the wind hits it, it closes the pocket. So all the way around here, windstream capture technology. In addition to this, and inside here, in between the, the, the bellows, could be solar captures. Solar technology capturing all the sun's rays on the disk as well. All this creating energy to help spin, to supply electricity to the magnets, spin the wheel, the wind would also help to spin the wheel. So of course if the bellows are, or the pockets are aimed open this way on this side, on the, on the left hand side, the wind would be traveling this direction. The pocket would open up. It's made of a hard enough material that and with a little nub right there to keep the pocket just slightly open, the wind hits the pocket, opens it up, it provides force to spin the wheel around, and as the wind is hitting this side, the well, that this so the back side of the pocket is is totally connected to the disc, so it just flattens the pocket as the wind hits it this way. So it only spins one direction. We would synchronize our magnets to polarize in such a way that it would spin the disc this way, and also solar energy would capture the sun if this disc is in like a. Gotta close the door here. Is in an area where you know you can have like a. Gosh, the places where they have the plants and it's see-through and it's clear and it's a... What do you guys call that again? God. Ah, come on. Come on. I know this. Ancient history. Uh, uh, the, 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 the something shed. No. Um, some, why is that? Dang it. The, the, the clear see-through, it allows the sunlight in the, and it heats it up, but it, it, it's closed. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway. It's, you can have kind of like that, that type of deal where there's clear structure that allows the sunlight in, um, just a, just a ceiling over it, and then the wind can fly through so rain doesn't mess with this. Um, there's no walls, so it's no, it's not exactly like that, is it? Watershed? No, no. What is it? Where's the heat? You let the, the light in, it heats it up. Greenhouse, greenhouse, but it's not without walls. There you go. So anyway, they're covering for this so the rain doesn't get on it, but then the, the air comes through and it helps to spin this, as well as solar. And then, you know, as the magnets are also um, spinning this, the, the effect is that the generator in the middle would produce more electricity than what it would take to spin, to, to use the polarity shifting magnets. They're stationary, and the disk is what spins. These are, yeah, the magnets are stationary, I almost forgot to mention that. They're stationary and they spin the disc. You should have gotten that from the idea that I was saying, well, the magnets are set in the track, you know, and they move a car. Instead, they're going to move a car instead of straight. They're going to move it in a spinning direction while the magnets in a regular amusement park ride are stationary. So you should have gotten that already. But anyway, all this integrated technology will achieve a perpetual energy device. You'll get more created energy from a device like this where the whole device itself is the device. It's, it's the whole thing is producing energy. <coughs> and you, know, you get more out of it in terms of energy than what it takes to create that energy. And again, scales of economy, you need to, you guys that are experts need, experts need to figure that out. Okay, but this, the basic concept is here. And in all the devices I have, again, those are concepts that could be integrated in different ways, like different letters of the alphabet can be put together to form different words. The different videos that I put out displaying concepts can be put together to form different types of technologies for different purposes. 
this one, spectral energy device, of course, what I'm thinking of. So you've got wind power working on this one device, solar power to fuel this one device, and those, um, when they get this going and start spinning it, using, using the magnets to, as a, the force to propel the disk in a circular motion, the generator is being turned, creating energy. Okay? So it doesn't take energy, any energy to start this. But once it gets going, the generator is going to produce more electricity than what it takes to run this device because we are supplementing with wind and solar. And there are other things you can do as well. Now, again, people are going to look at this and they're going to say, oh, it won't work. And that's like saying, well, an engine block won't propel you 65 miles an hour, so why bother with this punk of metal that has a bunch of holes in it? It isn't going to do anything for us. you got to look at this as far as the engine block is just one component to the whole system. And all the, the like I said, the videos I've been trying to show you guys, I'm just giving you the real bare-bones basics. It's like the alphabet. You guys are learning how to put words together. And before you can even put sentences and paragraphs and so on. So anyway, don't listen to the people who knock it. Be the one who makes this come to pass. I've told you guys and why prototypes are not not uh, possible. I've put a video out on, out on it. So the naysayers, I don't care. I'm going to keep putting these out. I'm the one who's seen this stuff in the future. Those guys haven't who say this won't work or can't work. I may not be explaining it perfectly, but they, there are people out there that know these concepts will work. They know it. And I'm, those are the people I'm trying to get to. Probably the very few. The higher you go, the fewer people you have. Anyway, that's it for now. Any questions, comments, please put them down.